Yo, yo, rest fam, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 19 video. And in today's episode, we have another episode of the Fantasy Draft Challenge. I know I've been neglecting. I'm I'm going to stop saying that because I always say every episode, I don't upload this series as much. You guys want to see this series really bad. You guys have been showing good support on these videos. So we're going to continue on with this, folks. And the next team, well, before I mention the next team, if you guys want to submit a team for the Fantasy Drive Challenge, all you guys have to do is comment down below the team that you that you want me to do the Fantasy Draft with. Down, down below, comment it. And if you see another person's comment that has your team, instead of you know instead of you wanting to comment it again just make sure to like that comment so i can be able to see it that way it gets pushed up to the top comment but in today's episode you guys have been asking for me asking this for me for quite a while now and it is to do this with the houston astros now houston astros are possibly one of the best teams in the league right now so let's see if we can make them better and hopefully try to win hopefully Tried to win a World Series with this squad because we've only won it in the first episode. Ironically, we won it in the first episode and we just haven't gone back since. And alright, so in the first round we get the 10th pick. That's actually not bad at all. We have a really, really good pick here. 10th overall. A lot of options. A lot of options. We got Willie Mays. I believe. Did we use Willie Mays? I think we did use Willie Mays already. I, I don't want to use the same player, so I'm kind of going to be asking whether or not I... I mean, it's not like you guys can answer, but yeah, we've used Willie Mays before. Matt Kemp. Man, we all forget about Matt Kemp being one of the GOATs, man. He was absolutely incredible. Ted Williams. Wow, Ted Williams. Do, do we use Ted? We might have to use Ted, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to use Ted Williams for this one, man. The Red Sox legend. We're going to go ahead and use Ted Williams. Hopefully, he can do good for us. But with those stats, he should be having no problem. So, round number one, Ted Williams. Welcome to the Astros. Round number two, a lot of players have gone by. A lot of good players have uh, gone already, which is kind of sad. But... Yeah, there's still a good selection. Oh my goodness, Rogers Horns. I forgot about Rogers Hornsby. Do we go Rogers Hornsby for second base? We've never really gotten Hornsby in anything, so maybe it might be time for us to get Rogers, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna definitely we're gonna go with Rogers Hornsby to be our second baseman for this team, and hopefully he does good. Pick number three. I was looking at one player in specific here. I was hoping he would not be taken, but I think he did. Um, yeah, yeah, he got taken already. God damn it. Okay. We got Mike Schmidt here. Pretty good defender. Pretty good uh, power hitter. We got Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, Yadi Molina. I mean, the possibilities are endless. We might look to get a starting pitcher, and actually, we are going to look to start getting one right now. That way, we don't get bombarded with um, pitching problems. So, we're going to choose our ace now. There's a lot of options here. You guys can see there's a lot of options. Sandy Koufax only has three pitches. Uh, I don't know how good that will go. Maybe maybe we should go with, 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 with a current day pitcher. And we are. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go for Chris Seal. We'll probably get one of these guys auto-drafted into our team. So let's get Chris Seal and see if Chris Seal can get something up for us with the Astros. Fourth pick in the draft. We've taken care of our starting pitching already. I would like to get another, in, in another outfielder probably. Jimmy Fox is still available. Willie, McCo Willie McCovey is still available. He's 31 years old, but Willie McCovey is still available. Do we go for Willie McCovey? Uh, or do we go for a catcher? I think we have to I think we might have to go for, for a catcher. I don't want to get a bad catcher. That's something I don't I don't want to do. But F all that. We're gonna go with House Army Killer Brew. Max Power, really star Joe, Tony Perez, Miggy Cabrera. Jimmy Fox, William, Willie McCovey. Do we go with Willie McCovey is the question here. Damn, there's so many good players still available. Mike Schmidt is still available. Wade Boggs, um, Cal Ripken, Omar Vizquel. I mean, we might have to go with Cal. Do we go for Cal for, for our final pick? Do we go for Cal? No, actually, no. We have one more pick after this. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go for uh cal ripkin and then if anything we'll draft willie mccovey so yeah welcome cal ripkin and all right i literally just remembered that uh 
we need a good outfield to be able to play so well to be able to do good so we need an outfielder so ah uh, luis gonzalez he does i mean th 32 years old i don't think he would deteriorate fast um plus he might be a very very good pickup for us jim edmonds kenny lofton duke snyder wow duke might actually be pretty good alkaline manny ramirez okay wow that's actually pretty interesting aaron judge I think we're going to go with Jim Edmonds, right? No. Can he? You know what? Let's go for Duke. Let's go Duke Snyder. We never get Duke Snyder. So our final pick, we're going to choose Duke Snyder of the Dodgers. Hopefully he does good. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll do pretty good. So Duke Snyder, welcome to the team. Yeah, we're going to move on over to the regular season. You guys know how the fantasy drafts go. We're going to simulate over to the halfway point. If we got to make some any moves, we will make some moves. But, yeah, simulate over to the halfway point, and then we'll check out how the squad is doing and check out how everything is coming along. Everything should be good with this team, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Everything should be good. So let's go ahead and simulate, folks, and see how we do. I'll see you guys in the All-Star game. 25 wins. I, I do want to badly check up on that pitching staff. And look at that, bro. We're just racking up wins. We're off to a really good start. I can't even say that we're off to a bad start. We're off to an amazing start. I hope we have one of the best records in the big leagues. I don't, I, we might, we might not have it, but yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and check on the squad now. And Harry got himself a 281 with 10 home runs and 39 RBIs. Uh, Lindstrom, not doing too good though it's kind of it's, i mean he's doing all right he's doing all right he can definitely get better and then 20 home run 28 home runs by ted williams 62 rbis 314 but we are what month are we in we're in june we are in june ted williams i'm gonna need you to chill you got rogers horns <laughs> 357 by rogers hornsby 21 home runs, 59 RBIs. Duke Snyder right behind him with a high average, 14 home runs, 57. Kyle Ripken's doing his thing right there. Brian McCann, not too well. Uh, Will Clark, what the fuck? And then Carlos Delgado. Okay. Uh, our catch, well, who is this guy? He is hitting 347. Kind of tempted to put him over McCann, but we're going to let that one slide. And let's check out our pitching staff. We have got, wait, where the hell is Clayton Kershaw? Okay. Um, we have got a 5-3 record, 317 by Chris Sale. Jamie Moyer, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, not too good. 5-3 with the 446 by Corbin. Could be better. I mean, overall, everything could be better. We got Ryan Doe, Royanis Elias. Not doing too good. We might have to switch something up in the uh, in the pitching staff in regards to bullpen and starting pitching. But is Clayton Kershaw injured? Yep, Clayton Kershaw is injured. He has a, sh oh, he has a fractured hand. He was 91 with the 346 with 66 strikeouts. Uh, Brent Garner is injured. Um, Ivan Nova got injured as well. And then Clayton Kershaw. So we might have to see if we can call somebody up from the pitching staff to come into the into the uh, starting rotation. Because we're kind of suffering a little bit. Alright, so we are now at the halfway point at 54-35. and 35, A really solid record. Could be better, but hey, I'm going to stop being an overachiever and just be accepting of what we got. We're five games ahead of the Mariners in our division, so... That is actually something that I'm quite happy about. Uh, I don't know why I went here. Uh, let's check out the lineup and see the lineup and see how everybody is doing. Uh, Harry doing the thing out there. I lead off the silent killer. Never heard of Harry Houndsman. He's probably a legend, and I'm just being stupid right now. But he's doing his thing right there. Uh, Freddie Lindstrom uh, not doing too good at the second hole. So we're gonna see if we can do something about that. But oh my God. This man Ted Williams has 38 home runs and 87 RBIs, 315, 315 average, and it's only July. Like, how are you doing this? And then right behind him, we got Rogers Hornsby, 332, 32 home runs, 87 RBIs. I mean, these two guys together are disgusting. And then we got Duke Snyder, possibly the third guy in that group, 21 and 78 with a 318 average. That is pretty good. Kyle Ripken, not living up to what I expected him to be. Uh, expected him to do he is kind of deteriorating a little bit so that's kind of sad to see but hopefully he comes back up brian mccann 347 not producing too much will clark is not producing either and then carlos Salgado is doing really bad so our bottom half of the order does need to be a little bit of uh, some renovation there because it's not doing too good we got chris sale 
Aiden three with the three seven one. Uh, he is the ace of the group because no one else can stay healthy. Um, six and five with the four four eight four for Corbin. Uh, here we got Snell, David Wells, and then Ryanis uh, Elias. I don't know why Ryanis is in the starting rotation. Um, Clayton Kershaw is gonna be he's gonna come back pre pretty soon, so not a bad thing. Uh, why did they call down Frank Viola? Oh, he got injured. Okay, Viola got injured. Uh, looks like we're in a scenario now where Big Sexy might have to be, <laughs> he might have to get called up. But we're gonna leave that for another time, man. We we can call up Big Sexy whenever we need to call up Big Sexy. But uh, Pedro Stasio is actually doing really good. Uh, 23 years old, 80 overall. I reckon we call him up just kind of see what happens. Um, but who do we call down though? Uh, we might have to call down Blake Snell actually. Oh no, no, we have some spots available. So we'll call up one guy. We'll bring up Astacio to the 40 man roster. Can I add him to the 40 man? Oh, we have a full 40 man. Okay, well, that's kind of shitty. So yeah, let's do something about that. We made the moves now. We're going to bring up Pedro and then we're going to call him up to the big leagues. Uh, he's having pretty good success in AAA or AA. Was that? I think it was AAA. Whatever. He's having pretty good success. So hopefully he brings that over to the big leagues. But now it is the home stretch literally the home stretch now we're into the halfway point we're gonna see if we can do something about this i mean we're looking good for playoffs already but let's see if we can actually make it and win our division uh and not become a wild card team because that'll be the biggest choke ever so yeah i'll see you guys at the end of the season and hopefully we do good all right so now we are in august now we're ending off august we're about to end the season our record took a little bit of a down down forward spiral but our triple a affiliates have finished uh their season at 80 94 and 46 and won the division wow that is a very good record and then our double a as well so i guess we had some good players all around uh we'll just see if our yeah triple a got eliminated and then our double a does make it pass and then we got eliminated there too okay well what the fuck and there we go. So we finish off the season 93 and 69, and we have won our division. Uh, we're gonna stop simulating so we can check out the stats and see if we won any awards. Definitely, some awards have been won. 100% awards have been won. But let's take a look at the final stat lines of these players. Hi Yo, Harry Heisman actually did really good for us. 32 home runs, 94 RBIs. Definitely a good leadoff guy. Uh, Freddie as well, 21 to 75. What the fuck did Ted Williams just do? 55 home runs, 127 RBIs with a 294 average. His average dipped a little bit, but his, oh my God, his productivity was amazing. And then we got Rogers Hornsby with an occasional, occasional 48 home runs, 127 RBIs with a 308 average. So a lot of these guys took a bad tumble. And then Duke Snyder actually ended up finishing with a better average than both of the guys that were basically all-stars. So... 44 home runs, 129, and then a 322 average by Duke Snyder. Kyle Ripken got his numbers up, so I'm quite ha happy about that. And then the bottom of the order, the bottom, the bottom of the order did get better. Uh, Will Clark definitely got better, and then uh, McCann did his thing out there. But this, this, this Chris guy has been doing pretty good. So we're gonna slot him in over at DH for the playoffs, and then let's check a look at the starting rotation. Chris, <laughs> Clayton Kershaw, 17 and 4 with a 299, and that's with him being injured for a, pretty much. A long time um da david wells not too good of a season chris sale possibly our second ace in the squad with the 390 with 13 and 7. uh corbin did not did not do too bad he did not do too bad frank viola kind of shit the bed there astacio and i mean our, our bullpen is essentially one of the worst i've ever this is the worst bullpen i've ever had the worst bullpen i've ever had uh and let's see if anybody wants some uh some league leaders Obviously, Ted Williams is going to lead the league in home runs, runs, and then Duke in war. So, that's pretty good to see. And then, Clayton Kershaw winning percentage. And Dennis Eckersley actually got the most saves in the league. So, that's quite impressive. And then, four awards. Delivery man of the... Whoa, wait. They didn't give MVP to Ted Williams. Oh, they gave it a man plus because the average. It's, it's quite simply because of the average, honestly. So... And then in the I and the IL list, you know, yeah, no, nothing happened there. So we're gonna be facing off potentially either Toronto or Seattle. So we're just gonna see who is it gonna be. And we're gonna face off Seattle. We're gonna simulate the first two games. Well, the first, yeah, games right here. Okay, so we make it past it. We're now in the NLCS. Uh, oh God, please no. Come on.
No, man, why does this always happen? Why does this always happen? Why does this always happen, Frank Viola? We got eliminated in the NLCS with the Astros. I was hoping for us to go far. This was a really good team, a very balanced team. Um, besides the pitching, the pitching kind of ruined us there, and you guys can see here in the playoffs. We lost the game 10 to 1. Uh, but some games were really close. Some games, our starting rotation actually helped us out. The games that we won, if you guys notice the trend, the games that we won are the the games that we basically scored more more than five runs and allowed less than three runs or less than four four runs. So yeah, that is crazy to see, folks. The Houston Astros make it to the NLCS with this squad, and it was possibly one of one of the best squads that we've ever had, besides the Marlins, obviously, because the Marlins made you know obviously but uh and also we won the world series in the first episode so i'm gonna keep saying that but yeah folks hopefully you guys enjoyed this series our art well hopefully you guys are enjoying the series it's not stopping anytime soon so if you want your team to be featured in the next episode of the fantasy draft challenge make sure to comment down below the team that you would want me to do the episodes with and if you guys see a comment that has that team in it make sure to like the comment so that people can see it and then also, you know, you get other people to like it as well. So yeah, spin your boy Razzy. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and also drop a sub. We're close. We're less than 10 subs away at the time of the recording for 2,000 subscribers. We're closing in on 2K, man. We're right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.